So when we look at this belt and pulley system, we're told that we've got six wheels here, three of which are on the inside of the belt and two, three of which are on the outside of the belt. We notice that some of these wheels are the same size, but some are different sizes. So this type of question is asking for two specific things. It's looking for the direction of the transmission, and it's also going to be looking at speed change. Okay? The direction has everything to do with the belt that's there. The belt is going to impact whether something is clockwise or counterclockwise in terms of its motion. And the size of the wheel is going to determine the speed at which the wheel is turning. So if we look at this diagram, we're told, one, we're told a direction of one wheel. The first wheel is moving in a clockwise direction. Forget left to right, because I could say that this is moving to the left, okay, but when I draw it out here, that's moving to the right, even though they're actually moving in the same direction. So forget your left to right, stick with clockwise and counterclockwise. It will be less confusing, okay? So if we look at number one, is it clockwise or counterclockwise? It is clockwise, so the rule here is that anything on the inside of this belt will move in the same direction, okay? So that implies that number three here is going to also move clockwise, all right? So we can put the arrow anywhere around three. It's going to rotate clockwise. That also implies that number five because it's on the inside of the belt, is also going to move in the same direction. So it, too, will move clockwise. Now, the, the real reason here that I say stay away from left and right is that, you know, depending on where you place this arrow, it could either be left or right, and it's still... It, it's, left or right does not imply the actual direction of motion. Now, what direction are the wheels going to go on the outside? So all the wheels on the outside will go counterclockwise. So if the question asked you, finally, you know, which of these wheels would actually be going the fastest, what would your answer be? Why? Because the smaller the wheel, the faster or the less time it takes to make a revolution. The more revolutions it can make in a set amount of time, the faster it will go.